And it looks like we're here. Oh, once yeah, again. here we are. Welcome, welcome. And it looks Mondo like Market TV, again. the best place for tools and supplies for artists. Yep. We're so excited today. We have a new show. Ooh. We're actually going to do some very cool contemporary magnets. I am your host, National Boyayan, and I have here the awesome Shahar, and she will show us how to do amazing, amazing things. Mm -hmm. But listen, this is interactive. That's the cool thing about this. You can, you can be a part of this. So use the chat box on the page where you're watching, uh, whether it's mondomarkettv.com, there's a chat box below the video, or use, if you're on Facebook, just type in your comments on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you are, we'll find it. Those are the three places that I'm monitoring right here. And don't forget to share. Hey, if you know anyone who might be interested in creating contemporary magnets, let them know that we're live, spread, share the word, and uh, we'll all have some fun together. How about that? Ooh, what if we gave something away for people to share? Woo, that's a good idea, sure. Ah, right. You're always, always like coming like, up with amazing ah, ideas. God. Yeah, so here's the deal. So while you talk about the deal, I'm actually gonna share right Please over here. Share. So as you know, it's really, 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 really important that you share the, vi the video right at the beginning when you see it. And why is that? Especially if you're on Facebook right now. Uh, it, it, it tells Facebook if they should show the video on other people's feed or not. So really important for a company like us to rely on you as our ambassadors that we are going to talk about it and share. So share the video right away with people you know on your profile, on your page if you have one. And what we are going to do is by the end of this uh, time, we are going to spend a few minutes together, we are going to see who shared. Let us know. Put a comment right there Yes. Th that you shared. And I'm going to give to you a power collar. If you don't know what, what that is, what? you're going to know by the end of this. And by yes. the way, we've got uh, Nancy, right place, right time. That's correct. Yes. Right place, right time right here. Welcome back. So, Nancy, we were just saying that for those that share this video, we are going to pick a winner today and give a power collar. We are going to explain what that is when we are doing our tutorial. So share that. And then the very second thing that you need to do is interact with us. So you're going to see here uh, a few techniques that I find them very exciting, but they are just a glimpse of what can be done. If during the, the, this show you have questions, please ask the questions on the chat. Again, on mondomarkettv.com, which is the best place for you to watch, on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, ask and we'll be happy to answer. So very, very easy housekeeping items, right? Yes, very easy. By the way, welcome, Bev. Welcome to our broadcast. Hey, Bev, I learned everything I know with you. So you tell me if I'm doing yes, something wrong yes. here. Okay, so exciting. Be Beverly, by the way, gave a course on Curious Mondo yes. on how to create garden sculptures with Power Paul, which Amazing. is an unbelievable product and yes. a product line. And she'll be back in May, so you don't want to miss her class. Stay tuned. Yes, it's going to be awesome. Cool. So what are we going to be talking? I know about what we're going to be talking. Well, we're going to create contemporary magnets. Yes. So but tell us what you mean by that. I mean that your fridge or a magnet board that you may have in your office or things that you like to put magnetic things are not anymore just cutesy little things. You can actually turn them into art and mix media using several materials that you may have right at home uh, laying around and turn that into something beautiful. It means you're going to have the best fridge in town. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Best looking fridge now, in town. For me, every time I, I'm thinking about making something, I think of a challenge to myself. So here were the rules when I thought about the magnets that I impose on myself. Okay, mm. They had to be made with things I had at home, okay. especially scraps. Because again, recycling what you have is super cool. The other day we were having a class, the pin loom weaving, yes. and Sarah was talking about how she actually saves every little bit of wool or yarn when she's playing, right? Uh -huh. Then I thought, well, I, I, I don't have that mindset, but, but I make my pin loom and I have the threads there of my yarn and I, I don't throw them away, they just stay there. So. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because I didn't have the mindset of let's do, uh, let's save the, the yarn, but I always leave them around because I always think, what could I do that? So, uh -huh. so recycling things I had at home in a very short period of time. Yes. Okay. Because my idea when I'm making something to show to you guys is this. First, first something beautiful. 
right? That, that you can go, go there, put your magic, and create. So we are always about creating more beauty in this world, right? With our magic fingers. Magic! Magic. The second thing is something that I can sell. And I tell you why. Why? Well, me, as anybody else, had my ups and downs in life, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, I was yes. a single mother, right? So life was not always easy. And sometimes there was not enough money around. So I pride myself in being resourceful. So I always had something that I could make, go out and sell and bring the bacon home, right? So my idea is always, what can I make with what I have without investing so I can make some extra money if I need? And we have to think, there are many moments where you may need that, not only because you're going through a financial crisis or something. You may be invited for a last minute bazaar, for example, in your town, and you want to make a bunch of stuff, but you don't have the time to create the pieces that you usually do. It's short time. Uh, you may have a family reunion where you need to give uh, you know, a favor to everybody, or even a wedding, and you want to give a favor to everybody, but to go and buy would be expensive. Uh, uh, or you just need to give gifts out there, yes. right? So can it be done very fast? Yes. Can it be done with what I have at home without having to invest a lot? Yes. yes. And will they make a statement? Yes, most yes. definitely. Yes, so that's what we did, right? Uh, and, oh, and also my last one was a very short period of time. So to tell you the truth, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. last night. That was yes. the a lot of time. But that's to, that's for you to see that it can be done quickly. Quickly and several. And I have several here. So let's first show some pieces here. Okay. The magnets, okay? So we I started playing with whatever I had around without any concept in mind. So just, the first thing just letting the creativity come. I, my first one was actually this one. Do you want to show? Yeah, let me show. How about okay. that? So what so I this did. One, tell me about this. Yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about each one. Okay. Uh, tell the process, and then we are going to make two pieces together. Okay. Ooh, fun. So I had some pieces of felt at home. I have a ton of felt because I, I like to play with felt, and I cut some pieces in a flower-shaped format. Okay. Okay. Then I coated them with a transparent paper pot. Oh. What I like about this is it keeps the color of whatever I am using. So this is the transparent power pot that yes. you're talking about. Yes. So I coat it. Why do I coat? Well, I'm thinking about a magnet, okay. right? I want something sturdy that, that is not going to lose shape and will, will look sturdy. That it will hold. That will, it will hold. Where's my... So, and I grabbed Nashla does concrete jewelry. Yes. And she had this one lay on the table. So I just had this little uh, ladybug there. Yeah. Cement. I grabbed that with the power pole. I glued to the felt. Boom. Boom. And then I put some highlight, some, some gold one, just can to see, give some shine to it. Can see a and I glued a bead her. on there. That was it. That was it. Right. So that was the first one. And a then, magnet on the back. And uh -huh. boom, boom. Good to go. So I like it, I but let's too. move on. So she had more pieces laying around. There was a fish. Woo, fish. Okay, show this and then I'll show how this so, was done. Here's the fish. Tell me about the fish. Cement, Cement concrete, 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 concrete fish. right? Very light. Very so light. So then I thought, well, how can I put the sea there? How to give that the idea of the flowing, the movement, the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed my yarn that I've been making my, my squares on the ping loom. Right, and I had a bunch like this. Just scrap yarn. Okay, no yeah, and this one that I like is a is a just a funny kind of thread. And what I did was actually I I I like to play like this. I first kind of do oh, maybe this shape, maybe that shape. When I'm kind of happy with what I want, then I go for the the rest. So this is too much. I would cut, and this one is not a tutorial. I'm just showing Jesus, more or less. This is a little bonus. <laughs> so I grab here the colors that I wanted, and then of course I put it to the transparent power pole because, as you can see on this one, uh, it has, oops, fell. See, it has the colors of the the thread, right? So when it's wet, it's very easy for you to put around. And I did the the shape I wanted, and I put the piece. So on right top. here, you put you basically you put it how you put the thread how you wanted it. Yeah. You put the power pole, the transparent power pole on top, uh -huh. or in it, so it yeah. became like a solid thing. And then you put the little fishy on top, mm -hmm. and that's how we have this piece. This little guy. 
this which is quite cool, right? Very uh, of cool. Of course, could be more. Remember, I, I had one hour to make a, several pieces, so I didn't have the time to paint the fish. We could but do that too. We're gonna show you more, but before, uh -huh. check this out. Beverly said, so cute. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you like. So Precious Art said, I just got today some Paverpol. I don't know yet what I will be creating with Ooh. it. Probably magnets. <laughs> yeah, yes. think about this too. If, you're fir if it's your first time, playing with that, and of course you want to create something more exquisite like, like a, a sculpture, but you want to play with the product first to, to be sure you know what you're doing, why not make something small, right? Why not? And, and then, look at this, Nancy Shahar, she said, I love the concept. Oh, great, thank you. Yes, use scraps or pieces of something else to create something else. Yes. The yarn, the scrap with the fish is so cute. Very nice. Very nice. And then one more comment, one more comment. We've got Diana. Diana said, I have so many supplies and I used to make toys for my kids and now grandchildren, you always give such cool ideas. Thank you. I love watching you guys. Man, oh, thank you. This is a factory. <laughs> I already have four other shows that I want to, to show it to you, but I need to have the time to make the pieces. And I need more than one hour, just saying, because it was stressful. So this one is the one I like the most. Ooh. So Look tell me this. about this one. It's the deep sea. The deep sea. So oh. here we have a concrete, a concrete octopus. Deep under the sea. Okay, so concrete she had laying around as well. I picked a piece of full suede that I can use for dolls and stuff. Well, here's what I like about uh, using the product. Not only, of course, this is hard. This is really being... Um, been drying, uh -huh. right, since last night. So it needs more. But you can see it's quite sturdy. It's very sturdy. But what I like about this, that's where I think you have to be thinking, what could I make out of this, is that when I put the fabric, I can shape however I want and keep different levels of dimension. And that's what I think is super cool, right? Of course, when you work with the T-shirts like Beverly taught in our class, it's super easy to, to work with, it's, it's really fun. By the way, Beverly. But you may have other stuff that you want to use, so like a, a piece of faux suede, faux leather. Remember, you can work with Power Paul with styrofoam, with leather, with wood. So don't let it limit uh, to one thing. So you see, I like this piece, and, yes. and frankly, if I had shaped this just a tiny bit smaller, this could become a brooch. Oh yes, it would be a great brooch. Right? And I don't have issues uh, wearing big stuff. But see, it could be, it but, the, but it's a magnet. <laughs> yes. By the way, Bev, Bev said she, you're giving me ideas. She oh said. boy. But uh, yeah, definitely. If you, this could, as it is, even Shahar, it could be a brooch. Yeah, it could. Actually, I mean, a nice jacket. Look. Yeah. And my, see, my it's shirt. not even that big. Mm, but of course, you can shape in different ways. So why today we are focusing more on the transparent power ball? Because. Many times you have things, uh, fabric, for example, specifically fabric, that you, or paper, that you want to show the texture or you want to show the colors of, of it, right? So that's why the, the transparent, because it will keep the colors of whatever you made. So let me show you a few examples. So this is sculpture. I'll, I'll let you... Actually, we, I think this one we can leave right here. Okay. So I made this uh, right after Beverly's class because I wanted to try. And so this is my very first one. And I used the bronze power pole all the way, just like she did in class. But I wanted the, I wanted the dress to have color and I wanted to use fi fiber I had at home. So I used some uh, mero merino wool, yellow, and I put the, power, the transparent power pole. And when you... It's See, hard. it's hard. It's and like rock. What's cool is that it's hard like rock. Yeah. But it doesn't look hard as rock. It looks. I fluffy. love doing that. The one thing I didn't like is that it did use a lot of uh, the product. So next time that I use the same thing, I'm going to needle felt a little bit or wet felt before I put the product, just to save. And the 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 pipe here is paper, is washi tape with the power pole. Ooh, this so, piece could so go outside. This kite right here has the transparent power pole? Yes, it does. Very with nice. With washi paper. Look so, at that. Now, now, Beverly, when she was here, she made this gorgeous uh, fairy wing. Oh, yes. Look at beautiful. that. And she, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not going to tell it. you the process in the, in the class, but look how cute it is. And she used the transparent as well. Very nice. Right? 
Yes, but of course, I... all of them are very cool. Here's the hat she made for a sculpture, and she used the bronze power pole, and this is just a piece of cardboard and T-shirt. This so, is amazing. It's super cool. Yes. Okay, so Nash, check what? if we have any, any other comments, and I'm going to do the first tutorial. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Beverly is saying she loves the bottle that this comes in because yes. it's super handy. It's super handy to work with. Okay, yes. so Nash, the first one, let's do a concrete one. So I'll show you something similar to this guy here. Diana said she loves your doll. Thank you. So I like we're going to do this guy right here? Not this guy because we don't have this guy. But, but we are going concept. to do a sim similar one. Okay, Kay? perfect. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to do is the concrete piece. Oh, yes. So we have water. So all we have for the concrete, just water, like tap water. Okay. Then we have the super white concrete. Okay. Which is this right here. All you need to do, let's grab this little cup, a mixing cup. Mixing cup. Shahar. Yes. You put one tablespoon of the concrete. Okay. Boom, just Boom. like that. And then you put a teaspoon of water. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then you mix it up. That's that simple. Of that course, simple. this is a super white concrete made for jewelry. Yes. So you, you probably have seen the other shows, but it's so versatile. There's so many things you can do with it. So those. this is what I use. Uh, obviously not the topic today, but this is what I use for my concrete jewelry, like the one I'm wearing, for example, yeah. made out of this. Um, so and now that I have that mixture. A silicone mold, any silicone mold that you like, that you have at home, that you make cookies or candies or anything else. Exactly. So I have this right here, a silicone mold. How about if we make this... Um, seahorse. Seahorse. Yes. You can see it there. So basically, all you do is pour it in there. And you wait about maybe 15 minutes. That's kind of what it'll take for this to cure. If it's a rainy day like we have here today, a little bit more. I right? have a little extra, so why not make why a, not? a little star? Don't waste. Nope, no, don't waste. And I mean, this is a fondant mold. I have this one that's just like a regular um, cookie, cookie and mold. And then you use that. It has some really cute shapes, see? Then you use that. So you just put your concrete in there. I have a little extra. This is not enough. but And then you just let it sit for about 15 minutes. When it sits, once it's done. Once it's done, you have the piece right here. And I'm actually just going to move this over here so it cures. So very simple to make. Then you have this is the piece. Okay. Now what do I have here? I have a base. Mine is the sculptor wheel because I can you know, show to you in different angles, but any base, and I covered this with serene and wa uh, wrap. Serene wrap. Serene wrap. Okay, why that? Because power pole does not stick to plastic. So here's a safe place for you to be working with, and you know, then you just throw it away. Safe so that's place. all I need, actually. And then the piece of fabric that I want. So again, I have the same full suede I had before. Okay, so the way I usually work is I put this here, I put the little guy, and I think what I want, okay? And I want this piece to be, to the fabric to be standing, and it could have some drapes as well, okay? So what do you do? I'm going to wear, to wear. maybe, a, a, a pair of gloves that you Ooh, have behind you. Good idea. You don't need to wear gloves. Uh, the uh, power power is not toxic. So there is no re need to protect your hands whatsoever. But I found one thing, and with fabric is also okay. Do you want a doctor? Yes, nurse, please. I just I just blew my bacteria into oh, my Oh, great, and I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> okay, well, so what I found is this. To work with, with fabric, you usually, usually really don't need that. But when you're working with yarn and thread, it's tricky because it starts sticking to your- Hang on, you gotta go like this. Yes, there we go. Uh, it starts sticking to your fingers, and then you're trying to put the, the, the fiber the way you want, and it doesn't stay. So when you're dealing with the itty-bitty detail, <laughs> yeah. that can get in the so way of it. So the, the gloves will help in that process. Okay, that's the only reason. Well, I get my power pole, and this is the cool part about this one, because I can put it on one side, work on one side, and then go to the other. So and how I, much did you put on there? Let's I see. eyeballed. Can we put it over here just so the very You just eyeballed, you put eyeballed. some over there. Yeah, and, and then now, I'm going to put everything together. And mix it up. And make sure it goes through all the fabric. Now here's the thing. 
If you watch the course with Beverly, you saw that she don't, doesn't want to leave any piece of the fabric whatsoever without the puffer paw, right? And that's a good practice, because, especially because in her case, the pieces will go outside. Now, this one is going to probably a fridge that it stays inside the house. I don't have to care too much. And when I was doing my tests, I sometimes I like some of the fiber or, or fabric very stiff, and some I may want some flow, still uh -huh. some flow. So it's okay if I leave just a tiny bit out of it, okay? Yes. But here I'm covering pretty good. So you covered it and you're and just- And the reason I, I'm covering well, and I'm especially going to do this here at the border- On is the I, edges? On the edges, is because I want that to stand up later, okay? You want that, the fabric to stand on its own, basically. Yes, and you do the same on the other side. So I can see there are some spots that need a little bit more. But you see, super and super clean to work with the bottle. Too. Easy peasy. Easy yeah, peasy. Yeah, I, I love this because of how easy, how, how much you can control it, basically. Yeah. So now that I have the piece covered, I come with my piece here, and I'm going to decide how I want. Okay, and it's really, I the way I work, guys, you, you may be different. I just put, put things and say, I like this or I don't like this. I don't work with a preconceived notion. Okay, it's kind of cool, not exactly what I want, but I'm going to put some here. So you're putting some of the transparent well, I want the guy on, on the, the concrete piece. Yes, and don't waste. And now, hello, I put, I glued this here and I find where I want the guy. So I want some curves here. I'm going to get one of my wonder clips and put them together so they stay there. Okay. Nancy said she loves the gloves and the surgical precision. <laughs> okay. Then this one I'm, I'm going to allow to flow a little bit. So you're and using this one these, I'm folding. these little clips basically to hold it in place. Just to hold it in place for a little bit. They are plastic too, so. Ah, good point. See? So I, I have it in place. And that's about it, Nash. Very nice, Shamar. I mean, Shamar. simple. We cannot touch because we need it to. Let me, let me turn that to you. See? It's there. Once it's stiff and the color comes back, because now it has uh, the transparent that is still whitish, it's going to have some type of flow. I can add beads here. I can uh -huh. add, I can come, put this in the power pole, and go around here and put some more. You can go crazy with this. Cool? And you're using very, this is very cool. And you're using these little plastic clippies. The yes, the Wonder plastic. Clips. The Wonder Clips is so that they won't adhere to the pepper pole. Yep. This way it allows you to, to maneuver that, to control to, the fabric without yes. it getting stuck to it. Cool. So before the first uh, tutorial, what's the offer for today? Because there is always an offer, there right? There is an offer, Shahar. Well, it's actually a very simple offer. Mm. Very cool, but simple. So we have the pepper pole, uh, the Craft Medium Transparent right here for you. It's on sale today. Hey, it's a wonderful opportunity for you to get it. Um, so the, basically, the, this bottle, you saw how awesome it is to maneuver, how easy, how simple it is, how handy. Uh, today only, basically during the next 24 hours, you can get the transparent paper pole. No, normally it's 18 bucks, today it's 15. So it's a great opportunity for you to stock up and get your paper pole and try out this uh, very cool product where you can yep. do anything that you want. Actually, basically. everything we have on the table today is on sale for yes. 24 hours only. 24 hours it's only. MondoMarketTV.com. Yes. And we have a small supply. The power ball, actually, it's not that small. No, we have but... a good supply, but it's limited. Okay. So you can get the transparent power ball. You can get, you're going to see the other items that Shahar is going to use. You can get the concrete all on sale during the next 24 hours. Cool. Now, the, the magnets on, on my faces. So. I had a mold, and it's a very old mold, very old mold that I have. Tell me for about polymer. this mold. It's a mold. It's just a polymer clay mold. Yeah, that has a face. Yes. And it's the face of old people. I kind of like you old people. You can see there what it kind of looks like. Yeah. So I, I was going to use that one. Now, when you go to the stores, you have tons of faces in the polymer clay section for you to choose from. Beautiful fairy faces, younger faces. I had the old. I work with the old. So here are a few. I think I started with this one. What I did was cut a piece of felt with the pinky shears, so it looks like a, Ooh, uh, this a is leaf. Adorable. Then I put some of my yarn, 
Okay. The face, the polymer clay face, and a piece of uh, this thing here. Of this like lace, lace type of thing? Yes. Very cool. Okay, that was it. That was the first one. Thought, eh, okay. No, like I it. think it looks very cute. It's good, but it got better. Ooh. Then I had this guy. Tell me about this guy. I, I used the t-shirt, the green t-shirt, oh. with the transparent power pole. And you can, so, see, yeah, and you can see this is sleeve of the t-shirt right here. Yeah. Just a t-shirt that you cut up the sleeve, put the transparent power pole to take advantage of the color of the t-shirt, mm -hmm. and then you wrapped it around your polymer clay piece. Exactly. Oh, and it looks adorable. Lady number three. Little magnet on the back, boom. This one Stylish. I like a lot. You like I used some lot? cotton that I had. Okay. And a piece of that same suede. Then you wrapped it, shaped it, it how you it. It has more of an ethnic feel. It has, yes. Yeah? I like, I this, like one. this one. I Magnet like this one. Magnet on the back, and now you have a very stylish fridge. And then, this is the one we are going to do as a tutorial. The Ooh. one that I use, basically, cotton. So this one, you got took advantage of the fabric and how beautiful it was with the, its patterns and its colors. You wrapped it around the face with the transparent exactly. fabric. Exactly. Uh -huh. And now you have a beautiful piece. And now some variations. Some variations. This lady here, I used the bronze power pole because Ooh. I had left from Bev's class. This one, I like uh, the flow uh. that you gave to it, Shahar. See, now we could add beads, we could add oh, other yeah. colors. We can definitely get creative on this. Yes. But I like it. And this one that we are going to finish together, I actually used the silver, the gray power pole. Oh, and here we go. You're taking advantage of the flow, the ability that the power pole gives you to show flow mm -hmm. still in a sculpture. This is a mini, mini, itty bitty sculpture kind of, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, It very is a cool. piece of art. It's still drying because still we drying. actually did this uh, the last one. Okay, so, so go check there while I get ready here. Let me take my gloves out. Ooh, tell me. And don't forget, you can get Power Paul today Absolutely. for a huge discount. Huge discount, get your Power Paul supply. Transparent, it's on the website. MondoMarketTV.com is where you go to get it. It's on sale during the next 24 hours. Great opportunity for you to get it. Okay, I'm taking my gloves out. <laughs> kind of hard. Okay, so first of all, the first thing you need to think is that you need to make the face. Now, if you like to sculpt, go ahead. It's going to turn out super amazing, I'm and sure. totally unique. But if you don't want to sculpt, then you get a mold, get a, 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 any type of polymer clay, so I'm using store-bought polymer clay, and this one is a gold color. They have some metallics that are really cool, gold, copper, stuff like that. And you have to condition the clay for a while. It comes kind of hard. And when you see that you can move around, well, then what you do, you put on the mold. So you go and you press. Now, I'm not worried here if I have you know, all the way to the back or less, because this is going to be covered with the fabric, okay? So you just press, so you can get all the expressions on the face, and then you take out carefully. Now, like I told you, because this mold is quite old, it's not one of the best. It's a little bit brittle. The ones that you get out there. So you have the face here. Ta-da! This has to go to an um, uh, electric oven. oven for 10, 15 minutes at 275 degrees, follow the instructions on the packet of your clay, and then they are done. So, cool. I have several. Look at that collection That I also pieces. made last night. So fun. Ta -ta. Hi. And that's what we are going to use for this tutorial. Very nice. Okay, so our, this one is not cure, so we are going to use this guy, okay. Uh, Beverly said, ding, 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 ideas for my next art walk. Exactly. Yes. Think about this. I was thinking, I always, sorry guys, I do think about money. Because I'm thinking, what could I make in a, with a, whatever I have? Not a lot of resources that I could sell immediately if I had to. Because many times that's what happened in life. Uh, and you think, okay, you create this, your cost here, yeah, it's not even a dollar. Right? Mm -mm. With, with everything. It's I not mean, even the dog. Imagine how many magnets you can make with just one little bottle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a ton. You really can make a ton. And if it's simple like the ones I made, because the ones I made are simple and I made them running. Basically, just for you to see how to make them, right? Four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces, 
seven, eight, eight pieces in one hour, right? So I was running. But be more careful using some material that you find really amazing out there. Yes. Well, 20 bucks is nothing for this magnet, mm -hmm. right? It would sell like hotcakes. So your profit margin is quite high because it takes you less than an hour to, to create, let's say not 10, but five of them. Uh, you're not spending a dollar almost and in I mean, each I know, one. I know we're talking about magnets, but it, I, I see this as a brooch. It could be a super cute brooch. Exactly. And of course, as a brooch, an actual accessory that people can wear, you can charge more for it than yes. just a magnet. Yes. So think about the possibilities here. Now, if you use, uh, if you take uh, uh, more time, you, you do some painting, you, you put some beads, well, the price will increase according to the material that you're using, right? So very easily, in two or three hours, you can have enough to go to a trade show and come back with 500 bucks. Or which, a farmer's market yeah. or some kind of bazaar. It may be half of your rent, a school payment, whatever. It's a bill. Or, yeah. So look, so, Shahar and Nancy said, you spark such imagination. It's always fun to participate. Oh, thank you. Yes, very cool, thank you. Okay, do you wanna talk about this before I go to the tutorial? Yes, guys, today is your chance to get I'm this full. amazing product, the Paverpal Transparent Paverpal. Just go to mondomarkettv.com during the next 24 hours. It's on sale. You can get the Paverpal products on sale during the next 24 hours, mondomarkettv.com. This comes in a great bottle, very handy for you to use, easy to maneuver, fantastic to create. Uh, the, the little tip here gives you a lot of, um, control so when you're getting creative and you're using you're working on itty bitty things this is perfect so for example if one of your uh, desires is to create uh, nice sculptures sculptural necklaces yes. using Paul, this perfect. is the perfect container for you yes and it's fast and you're working on your desk exactly okay so I cut a piece a piece of cotton if you watch uh, the show one or two weeks ago, we were doing some fabric coin purses. Yes. And you saw that I used the exact same cotton for that one. Oh, well, yes. This I is the leftover. Yeah. So what do I want? I want my power ball okay. back. She takes everything from me. It's amazing. Okay. And then I'm going to put some. And I like to put them on, on one side and then the other. And then, oops, don't it let it there. go anywhere. Like Bev said, she uses everything, not a drop is wasted. Okay, and you do the same thing on the other side. Diana said she really likes the green lady. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. Boom. I would put something, some glitter on, on that one and turn it into a brooch. Okay, so I go again. I'm not, I'm not being very careful into putting the power pole in every nook and cranny because this piece it's not it's going not outside, and garden. some fluidity, extra fluidity with the fabric wouldn't get in the way. But I want the piece to last for many years on a magnet board, so I want the power pole there. So now what Let do you do? Let me see. I'm, I'm going to make this one, right? So I'm going to pick up this lady. Okay. Okay, let me... You're not in camera. Just okay. And then I'm going to wrap around and I want to make kind of some height here I think I think this lady likes to be in the desert that's what I think so I'm going to cover her like this okay let me show you on a close-up how it is right now by the way Suzanne Simo said hello here look at this Okay, still wet, of cute, course. Cute, very okay, cute. Okay, now, I want her to have some white in between, like if she had a lace. Oh, okay. But I don't like this lace I have here. So no? I'm going to get one of the power pole wraps. Ooh. So it's a type of uh, viscose that you use for sculptures. Do you want me to open this for Yes, you? please. Okay. And just one sheet. I'm going to grab just a piece. Very, very tiny piece. This is the Paverball wrapper. You want this if you want to make sculptures, period, because you can wrap. Actually, in the intermediate course that Beverly will be teaching at Curious Mondo, she is going to be using this in, the, in another way. So, okay? by the way, so yes. So, I have here that piece, and I'm going to be, why, why am I using this and not a lace? Well, I don't like the lace I have. And it's not going to show much. It's just going to give the dimension that I want, the bulk that I want. 
and it's going to do its work. This Nobody nice. will be able to tell what this is. Yeah, it's a nice. very soft, very yes. good. And what I'm going to do is really just go around the face. I think it gives more of a nomadic kind of look. It does. Right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so. Karen Baker said, hello, my favorite lady. Hey. Yay, Karen. Okay, so now this is how we have her. Looks like she went to the dentist. It does look And they look put like something the on her face, right? Now I, get, I grab the other piece that I have. And I put the power pole. Diana said, this looks a little like cheesecloth. Yeah, it's not. You could use cheesecloth as well. So sorry. I actually was going to bring today and I forgot. But you can. It's just a little trickier to, to work with when you're handling. But it would give a very nice effect too. Okay, so now I have the other piece. And I'm going to go around again. It's a simple go around kind of thing. Okay, ooh, lady, it's looking good. So you see now, now here, the, this part, what you want is to have some movement with the fabric. So we can leave some flowing to the side. I like it when you do the flow. Yeah, I think, I think that's one key point for using fabric with yeah. the product. Yeah, exactly. Take a look. Look at this. Mmm, yes. Yeah? I like it very much. Very much? Mm -hmm. Now, what I, uh, what I would do with this, but we need to let it dry, is to wait it to dry about 24 hours and then and give some highlights. So, because uh, I have to wait for this girl to, to dry, I'm going to show you the highlight on another piece but, after you talk to them. Yes, yes, yes. After but, our sponsor. <laughs> Remember, uh, just go to MondoMarketTV.com to get your supply of Pepperpol. Products we've got uh, here, the transparent is what we're showcasing today. Pepperpaw transparent in this cool handy dandy bottle that you can use. Great bottle, gives you tremendous control, um, and it's a fantastic product where you can basically use uh, to make the items that have color in them. You can really make them pop and really, um, really take advantage of that. Besides, you can also get the Pepperpaw wrappers like she saw Shahar using. Um, for example, this, this, this here that you saw her using for this beautiful ball, you can get uh, doll, <laughs> magnet. You can get uh, the Pepper Paul wrappers as well, also on sale. Just go to mondomarkettv.com. You did hear she say that we will be using these products as well during Beverly's upcoming course, the Intermediate Pepper Paul course. So if you'd like to take an ad advantage of a good sale, now might be just the time for you to get them. And we have very few of those. We do have very, yes, we have a very limited supply of these products. So Pepper, uh, Pepper Paul, mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get it. Yes. Now let's see how to do the highlights. So let's suppose you made your lady with whatever uh, fabric you wanted. So this is one that I have here that is already almost dry. It's not totally dry. And I want to give some pop into this. It's so easy to do that. You can grab, you can even grab water, okay? But of course, if you use the varnish, you're using a, a better product for this. Plus, if this lady will be in any point in time outside, like a, a wreath, like a, um, a wind chime, something that you decide to make in the future, then you don't want to work with the water. You want to work with the varnish. So this is the power pole varnish. And I, I just need a dab, and I'm putting on serine wrap right here. And the reason I need this is because when I put the power collar, I don't want blobs. I want it to flow really well. And I'm going, because this is the gray power pole, I'm going to use the silver Ooh. power pole collar. We have the silver and the gold. Yes. Right? Yes. While she's opening that, here you can see the silver and the gold. You can get it at mondomarkettv.com. I'm putting sale. just a dab, really, of so this. You're putting just an itty bitty on a piece amount. of plastic, yes. And then with my brush, I'm going to mix the two together. So I just don't want a blob, and that's why I'm using this mix. Okay? And then when you pass on the piece, the, the, the parts that are high 
will be the highlight because it's where the light would tend to come first, right? And that's where you're going to go with this. And you give... Oh, it just gives it a shine. A sh yeah, gives it a shine. I could come with a, another color and try, right? Like a copper or even the gold here and mix. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can make beautiful pieces of art here? Absolutely, Shahar. Now, with my face here, I use the silver color uh, clay, but I can, since I'm already working with the varnish, I can come and do the same with the face and create more of a silver face. Look at here, how beautiful. I can put two black dots later on the eyes if I want the eyes to pop out. And I have a beautiful piece that again took me less than 15 minutes to make. And it could go on somebody as a, as a brooch. And you know, I'm not being very careful here. You could take your time and you should and do a better job than I'm doing, but you can see the idea, right? So this is, a, that as a brooch, I'll put it here, it's, it's I wet. I think it's a great idea for a brooch. Can, can you give me a close-up? See? Minus this. Minus the. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's weird how I'm showing, here. but it looks good. It looks really good. Let's try a brooch. You can on. come with Wait. a contrasting color. Yes, so check this out. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Here we go, let's see. Right. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Yay. Look how cute. Or a magnet, which is the purpose of this uh -huh. uh, tutorial. And of course, if you sculpt your own, then you can take this to a whole new level. Yes. I wanted to show the easiest way because if you want just to go and try and make some fast pieces, the mold will work just fine. But if you take some time to sculpt some face, think about baby faces of fairy faces uh -huh. that you could add here. And think about you could, what you could be creating. It's just, yes, just amazing. Exactly. I mean, this these are beautiful. Put it there. They're adorable. No, look at this. First, I'm going to show it to you here. Look at this right here. The, let's do this other one with the cool one. The camera six. Camera six. Look at this. Look how adorable See, that is. It's an old lady. That yeah, was the purpose of this mold. That was the idea. That was, and but she's I love kind of, I'm going. Works. To the field to grab some green peas because <laughs> I love to eat my veggies. We're taking advantage of the the colors in this beautiful yeah. fabric. Yeah. We're giving it some motion, making it fluid, yet still while being very rigid, uh, so it can become a magnet or a brooch. Yeah. Um, and it looks super cool. And so this, you think you could make this and then call these spring ladies and oh, yeah. and put either either hats with the flowers, right? And they all go to the field for some broccoli. Yeah, you could totally do a series. Yeah, for or sure. more ethnic style. Uh huh. See? And of course, if you increase in size, you may have wall pieces. The process would be the same. But again, this is easy, super inexpensive. Yes. Uh, would sell very, very well because they are unique. Makes a super right? cute brooch. You are using everything you have at home, right? Exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> I go there, you tell them what oh. they need to do. Well, Crap. hey, okay. So for sure, don't put your sculptures <laughs> in places where they can fall. The good um, thing is Power Paul is a glue, so I can glue it back. Yes, and just so you know, just, uh, it's, she's fine. Ta-da! <laughs> minus minus, <laughs> minus her base. Okay. Get my, get. Ah. Sorry, Shahar. Okay. okay, so today, today only, so during the next 24 hours, you can go to modomarkettv.com and get this amazing product. You're seeing it in action today. It's the Paverpol Transparent product. Comes in a handy dandy bottle. Um, fantastic uh, tip. Gives you a lot of control. It's super cool. You can use product. You can take advantage of the color in things in order to harden them and create beautiful, amazing pieces. You can turn them into contemporary magnets. You can uh, turn them into necklaces and jewelry pieces and earrings. Uh, uh, someone mentioned the ring. Definitely, mm -hmm. most definitely. Go to mondomarkettv.com today, right now, actually, to take advantage of the sale we have going on. You can get any of these products on sale. You can get the transparent Pepper Paul. You can get uh, the Pepper Paul wrappers, which you saw in action, like we wrapped around the little old lady's head. Well, you can get that. Um, you can get the colors. So you saw Shahar using the. You saw her use the. We have the, two metallic colors. The silver metallic, and the gold. silver. We can get the silver and the gold. These are. The so the Pepper Paul colors, I encourage you to get them. Um, super, super good deal. They're on sale today. So 
uh, go to modelmarkettv.com to and get your supply. Yeah, and while you, you see if you have comments or if you have the winner, the winner will get one bottle of the power color. Show all the ladies here, please, for me. From, from the top, because you see I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ladies. I'm not counting the cement pieces Ooh, that we have. Yes. Right, we have three of them. In fact, I'm gonna move this just for a minute so they can see it from the top. Look at this right here. Look at all Ooh. these ladies. I'm a single lady. Put, put it. I'm a single lady. Let, let me take this out. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Ooh, teamwork. Huh? Teamwork, what works? Team teamwork. Okay. okay, so look, look at, at these ladies. Let me turn them so you can see from every single angle. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Now, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces that were all made under. No, I know, I have 10 Ooh, because I have my your octopus. octopus that is gorgeous. Please show my octopus from the top. There you go. Look at See, that. See, 10 pieces less than an hour. Yes. So if I go, I, I would go to a bazaar and say, well, 20 bucks each, right? Like I told you before, 20 bucks is a very easy sale. Everybody carries a $20 yes. bill in their pocket just in case. So it's very easy to ask them to give it to you. I have, I have to count in Portuguese. So while you're counting, how about? 200 bucks. That's amazing. I didn't spend $10, didn't spend $10 so whatsoever. 200, about 200 bucks. Your cost was less than $10 and one it took hour. you one hour. Is that one a good hour. deal or what? No, that's an awesome that's deal. amazing deal. See, so 200 bucks in beautiful faces. If I took a little bit more time, they, they would be more woo, 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 fluffy, fluffy, full of little cute stuff. And you're using the scraps that you have at home that you're like, one day I'll use this. Well, now you can yeah. use it. And the fact is that somebody sees this, but what is this? Because they're not used to see this. Yes. They're not used to see other people Exactly. doing this i have to tell especially if you you are in the us right now and you start using the power pole line you are going to be one of very few people Ooh, so yes. if you're thinking about the side business with that maybe making some extra cash uh during special special days guess what your pieces will fly off the shelves because People are not used to seeing this. And I ask you, how many bazaars, trade shows, even farmer's market have you been to that you saw something like this with fabric and clay or right with here? fabric and cement? You have not. You see this flow? It's the your flow? pieces flying flow. off the shelves. Oh, fly on the shelf. <laughs> fly, fly, fly. We have here, uh, Nancy Don't said. Don't break my pieces. Oh. Nancy said, very cool, thanks for the sale. Yes, most, you're most welcome. Uh, Diana said, we sure can make some great ones. I'm loving oh, this. Yes. And uh, Diana said, such a nice flow to that one especially. Great to put in a shell or pod. Oh, a pin for that purse. Oh, yeah. The pin for the purse? Yes. That's a great idea. Yes, it would look so awesome. You know, I would actually even say, I could have a keychain with this because it would be awesome and go around with it. So we have a question here from uh, So Precious Arts. First, she had a question. Okay. Are you guys going to offer the other of col color of paper balls in those bottles as well? Do you know? Uh, I don't think they have the other colors in the bottles. Uh, and yes, we are going to offer the other colors. I, can I say what happened? We had a huge shipment coming. We ha yes. And it came. And it came. And it arrived. It has arrived. And they did something on the plane. It it broke the containers. The whole, all, the entire box was just. So we had other colors we don't have yes. anymore. Uh, totally not sellable anymore. So they it, were I, really we, broken, which we were like, makes well, me what? so mad because somebody got them and he had fragile all around. It said fragile. It, and it everything. was super well packed. But we, we were wondering, like, did it fall off the plane or something? Because yeah. that's what or it did, looked like. We opened I, the box. I think they, they, they played a soccer team. Something. something happened. We opened the box and it just looked like a huge. Paverpole, sea of Paverpole. And I was like going like, I don't know, this product is going to dry before I can use it. Because, you know, I don't like to so, see things going so to waste. So Precious Art said, so very cool, cool those ladies. Love the ladybug too. Can you imagine yes. a bunch of butterflies and other bugs? Oh, don't yes. you have a butterfly there? Yes. You have on the mold for sure. I think we have a butterfly. Oh, right, right here. here. Look. And look at this nail. The butterfly, Is this the, the best snail. place? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's see. So look, this is the butterfly, concrete, made out of concrete. Here's the snail. Yes, and it makes for some fun pieces. I actually create um, 
uh, the jewelry out of these, and we I always sell them at the shows. People love. They, they sell really they well. They love the snails, the ladybug, the butterfly. And you sell just the piece like this for twenty five, right, with the chain? Yeah. Yeah. I sell. Yeah, exactly. I sell one. What is it? One for twenty two for thirty. That's usually the sale that I do. I just and I just do the the concrete. Now imagine As this butterfly. Right if you take some time to paint it, which would be a nice idea, and then you get some silk. Just some beautiful silk that you have. And, and you use the transparent paper pole and create a very magical flow for the butterfly. Yeah, Woo! exactly. It would look, be awesome. I, mean, I just used a kitchen a candy mold kind of thing. So you can do the same candy mold as long as it's silicone. Easy for you to use with your, your cement. You show, can... show my ladies once again. I'm proud of them. Yes. This one, look at here. So again, we made 10 pieces with at least three, with, with fabric, with suede, with clay, with cement, and with felt. All of them in less than one hour. If we were to go and sell this right now, we have right here less than $10 in cost, over $200 in sale. If that's not good, I don't know what it is. That is But awesome. they make also very cool gifts. That's excellent. By the way, Bev said they don't have the other colors in that bottle. Yeah, they don't. But you could totally repurpose a used one again. There you go, Bev. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay, so before we go, woo, Power Ball Transparent in this gorgeous bottle, super easy to use, perfect if you're thinking about small pieces or jewelry. Don't forget jewelry. We are going to come with one show on jewelry because... So many things you oh, can do. You can, you can imagine how many things you can do. Perfect for that, very affordable, so it's a great way for you to try the product as well. But the power colors, the metal colors, and this varnish, if you watch the class with Bev, you know how important this is. To put pieces outside, it's almost a must. Everything on sale today for 24 hours. Yes. Right? So Just go you go to, to mondomarkettv.com, take advantage of the sale. 24 hours only, you can get all of these products. You can get the transparent paver ball, you can get the paver collars, you can get the paver wrappers, you can get the, the satin varnish. finish. Uh, varnish. varnish. So uh, just go to mondomarkettv.com to get it. Use get those hands busy yes. making beautiful things. Absolutely. And we'll see you back here next Thursday. That's right. Mondo see you Market next TV. Thursday, mondomarkettv.com. Best tools for artists. Have fun.